when I asked my mom for a good opening, for the season opener, she said, you know, it should be something that draws in the audience. It should start with a punch. So here we are now. Oh. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of the Irrelevant Introductions series. This also happens to be the first episode of the States of India series. So I will have an episode for each state and I'll basically talk about the state and like I'll talk about the history, culture, geography, whatever, whatever, whatever I find relevant. I will be going alphabetically, which means that Andhra Pradesh, the state of my birth, uh, the state of my origin is first. To begin with, I'll talk about the most important aspect of any state, its people. Andhra Pradesh has a population of about 50 million, out of which the clear majority are the Hindus who make about 90% of the population. Even scheduled castes and scheduled tribes play an important role, making up one-fourth of the population. The, the literacy rate is at, up, is at about 73% which can definitely be improved. And the official language and most spoken language is Telugu. The poverty rate is, is almost half the Indian national average at, at about 15%. Coming to the non-statistic side, Andites love food. They are like the foodies of South India. Some of the famous food items from Andhra Pradesh include things like Puliora, Garilo, Putarekulo, Burulo, Purnalu, Ulvacharu, spicy meat curries, and of course the spicy, spicy pickles. Oh, we Andites do love pickles. We'll have any pickle from mango to lemon to ginger to garlic to even chicken or prawns pickle. Andhra Pradesh also has a very interesting culture, which is actually quite similar to Kannadiga culture. <coughs> Especially if you look at the scripts of Telugu and Kannada, they're very similar. If you can read one of the language, you can read the other. Anyway, coming back to Andhra Pradesh's culture, Kuchipudi is the main dance form, while Carnatic music is very prominent. Some of the main festivals that are celebrated include Varalakshmi Ratam in August, Dasara, Diwali, San Sankranti, and also the Telugu New Year, Ugadi, during which the Ugadi Pachidi, or pickle, is made or using the seven different flavors. The traditional clothing of the state is the sari, tied like this, and for men, it is the lungi or panchi. However, these days, older men seem to have an obsession with wearing white silk shirts and black trousers. It's almost become like a flipping uniform. The most well-known people from Andhra Pradesh include people like Alluri Sita Ramaraju, Sarojini Naidu, Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan, Tenali Rama, P.V. Sindhu, and also many cinema stars like Chiranjeevi, NTR, ANR, Brahmanandam, and also Carnatic musicians like Shetraya and Thyagaraj. Another important feature of a state is its geography. Andhra Pradesh has an area of 160,000 square kilometers and shares borders with Chhattisgarh, Orissa, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Telangana. It also has a tiny part of Pondicherry on the coast of it. Andhra Pradesh has the longest coastline in India of 974 kilometers. The coast lies on the Bay of Bengal. The main rivers of Andhra Pradesh are Krishna and Godavari. The Eastern Ghats divides the state into two parts, the Rayal Seema and the Coastal Plains region. The coastal plains are, slight, are slightly more developed, mainly due to the factors which include the deltas and the fertile soils. Although Andhra Pradesh doesn't have many forests, it does have a decent wildlife. The state tree is neem, while the state bird and animal are the rose-ringed parakeet and Salman Khan's pet peeve, the black buck. Some of the places you ought to visit in Andhra Pradesh include Tirumala, especially if you love bald heads. And then there's also Sri Salem, Araku Valley, Burra and Balam Caves, Horsley Hills, 
Bhavani Islands, things you can buy from the state include Kalamkari saris, ikkat handwork and also Kondapali wooden toys. Andhra Pradesh is also, is also already a pretty popular tourist place. It, it is the third most visited state in India. However, tourism has a minor contribution to its economy. Now, let us use that as a segue to the economy and history segment of the video. Alright, so Andhra Pradesh has a GDP of about 160 billion dollars. Majority of the people are employed in agriculture, with rice being the or paddy being the most sown crop. But Andhra Pradesh is also a major producer of cocoa and tobacco in India. Recently, however, the, sec uh, the secondary sector is becoming a big player in the economy with factories of Cadbury, Kia, Pepsi, MI, Isuzu, etc. being set up in the state. Andhra Pradesh has also been ranked number one by the World Bank in the ease of doing index in India. Even the tertiary sector is doing well with software companies that are being set up in the state gobbling up all the engineers that Andhra Pradesh is producing. Finally, we come to the last part of today's video, Andhra's history. The first major rulers of Andhra Pradesh were the Kakatiyas who, who were at their zenith in the 12th and 13th centuries. Then came the Vijayanagara Empire with its zenith being under Krishna Devaraya in the 16th century. Then came the Qutub Shahis and then briefly Aurangzeb before the Nizams came into power and became a princely state under British India. Following independence, Andhra Pradesh was part of the Madras state until 1953. Then in 1956, Telangana was added to Andhra Pradesh which caused agitations among the Telangana people who wanted a separate state. Finally, in 2014, the two states split ways after many lots of years of agitation which was the last breakup in the history of India. I mean I guess you could say Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh is also a breakup but I think it's more of a parental issue than breakup in this scenario. So that's the end of the video thanks for watching guys and please share the video if you liked it. Thank you.